Geo Tele OS recently debuted with Thomson Geo TV and we hope more Geo Tele OS TVs are on their way. We recently reviewed the Thomson Geo TV and we noticed that most of the popular apps are supported on the platform, but still if you need a particular app that's missing, you can always sideload it on the Geo Tele OS TV. Now sideloading is not available on the Geo set top box where Geo has blocked options to enable debugging. but you can still do so on the tele os tvs using a few simple steps in this video i'll walk you through all the details to sideload apps on the geo tele os tvs you will need to work with adb or android debug bridge now if you have zero experience with adb don't worry it's as simple as downloading a folder on your pc we added the link in the description below so just download the platform tools for windows and extract them in any folder on your pc that's it you're done the next step is to enable debugging This will differ from device to device. The process is to tap build number, software version, use a combination of remote buttons or something similar multiple times to invoke a hidden menu. Here's how you can do it on the Thomson Geo Tele OS TV. Go to the settings, access system and storage, go to about and then check status. Now press the central button on the D-pad 7 times to enable extra settings. Now go to the settings, system and storage, advanced settings and check extra settings. From here launch factory menu option. Here you will find the option to enable debugging. Go to debug and enable ADB. Once you have enabled debugging, the rest of the process is really simple. You'll need the IPv4 address which you will find in the system information menu in the settings. Now we'll go to the ADB folder that we downloaded. Right click and open the PowerShell by selecting the open in terminal option. Now use the following ADB command to connect your TV. Grant access by selecting allow on your TV when prompted you will get this prompt only the first time you connect your TV via ADB on the terminal window reconfirm the connection using the command adb devices now that we have the adb set up and connected it's time to download the apk files of the apps that you wish to install on your TV you can use sites like apk mirror to do so and make sure that you download the apk file or the bundle of the android TV app and not the android phone app for the demonstration here i have downloaded mobile forge and crunchyroll Right click on the file and use copy as path command to copy its path. Now you can use the command below to install the app. Just type adb install and paste the path name. That's it, your app will be installed on your TV. Now installing app bundles like Apple TV or Crunchyrolls require a few more steps. First of all, download the APK bundle and now rename the file and add a .zip extension to the file name at the end. Now you need to extract the file in a separate folder on your PC and copy its path. Now go back to the ADB terminal window and use the following command to change directory. Now that we have changed the directory to the required folder, you need to install all APK files in the bundle in one go. We have added this command to the description below, so just copy and paste that in your terminal window and that's it, you'll be done. Now we will see if the two apps have been installed on our TV. As you can see, Mobile Forge is working fine and yes, Crunchyroll bundle also has been installed successfully. Once again we have added all the commands in the description below this is a very simple process which you can also use to install apps on other android devices like your fire tv stick if this video helped hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions ask us in the comments below we'll catch you soon in the next one